the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has given a critical assessment of electoral processes in the country, highlighting the increasing acts of impunity by the executive arm of government. INEC Chairman Mahmoud Jakubu, while giving his remarks at a meeting with resident electoral commissioners in Abuja, that the action of political leaders is undermining the integrity of elections held in the country. Abisala Adebayo now tells us more. This is the last regular meeting for 2019 between INEC and its resident electoral commissioners, coming just a few weeks after the governorship elections in Bayelsa and Kogi State. The commission chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu, said the meeting is to undertake an internal appraisal of the recent elections with resident electoral commissioners in charge of states where polls were conducted. He added that the Commission will engage the National Assembly and relevant stakeholders to discuss a bill recently sent to the Senate Committee on INEC. Elections in Nigeria, especially for executive positions, are increasingly characterized by present impunity. The Commission plans for all elections to be successfully concluded and for the will of the people to prevail. It is inconceivable that INEC will make elaborate arrangements for the deployment of personnel and materials and then turn around to undermine itself in the field on election day. Impunity has become the pain of our elections. The Commission will work with the National Assembly and all stakeholders for the establishment of the Electoral Offences Commission and Tribunal recommended by the Waste Committee on Electoral Reform 2008, the Lemu Committee on Post-Election Violence 2011, and most recently, the Ken Namani Committee on Constitutional and Electoral Reform 2017. At the moment, INEC is saddled with the responsibility of prosecuting electoral offenders. We have drawn public attention to our constraints in this regard. We have no capacity to arrest offenders and conduct investigation, without which successful prosecution is impossible. The Commission also says it will discuss with the legislators on the issue of smart card readers, which the INEC chairman insists has come to stay. One critical area that the Commission will engage the National Assembly is the status of the smart card reader. Let me reiterate that the smart card reader has come to stay. It cannot be jettisoned or abandoned. Rather, the Commission will seek ways by which its utility in elections can be enhanced for the triple objectives of verification of the genuineness of the permanent voters' cards, confirmation of ownership, and fingerprint authentication of voters. The electoral umpire said since 2015, the Commission has received a total of 149 case files, 16 of which are from the 2019 general elections. As a result of the activities of electoral offenders, INEC is calling for the establishment of the Electoral Offenses Commission and a tribunal that would dispense justice speedily in the same way that the Electoral Court deals with violators in other countries. Abisola Adebayo, TV360, Nigeria.